Hola mi gente. Welcome to Kiss My Crafts. And my last whip and chat for Christmas in July. Um, my apologies for missing out on last week's, but I've been working till 8 o'clock every night. I just clocked out not too long ago. Um, I'm recording this on Thursday night, but you'll be seeing it on Friday morning. Um, where's my other glasses? So as you can see, I'm still in the same place as I was the last time I worked on this because I have not worked on it at all. Um, I've been working on Petunia and I finished her so you'll be seeing the post review probably this weekend sometime. Um, my members did get to see her completed. Uh, she, she came out fabulous. I really enjoyed working on her. Um, I, I have nothing negative to say about it but you'll see in my post review as I break down um, what I did, how I enhanced, what I actually, there were a couple of things I wasn't too crazy about and I'll explain to you that in my post review. Okay, so I'm working on Santa's Little Helpers by Craftably. Um, I don't think this is available anymore. The last I looked, the only Christmas painting that they had was the, um, uh, the one with the red truck and the Christmas tree in the back. That's the one that they had available. They do have some new, um, a couple of new, pre, uh, Sheena Pikes on pre-order. One's, uh, Butterfly Collector Brielle, and then there's, uh, Frog Loving Felicia. They are both adorable. They have beautiful colors, um, available. Last I looked, I'm not sure as, as of this posting they were still available, but they were available for pre-order. It's not going to be like um, a four-month wait. It's more like a six-week wait, maybe. Um, they expect it by September 10th or before. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Remember, I'm a Craftably affiliate, so if you use my code... Uh, kiss underscore my underscore crafts with a K uh, you get 15% off any order of $50 or more I'll link all that information down below in the description box in case you want to go check them out and you want to save a, yourself a little money um, you have a code uh, I have some things to show you but I'm going to show it to you a little while later because what I wanted to do for my whipping shop was something Christmassy, okay? And I racked my brain and racked my brain, and then I said, you know what? I'll do some diamond painting and maybe recite like a classic Christmas story or a Christmas poem or something like that. Um, so I started looking online for something that I could read to you guys while I diamond paint. Um, and I had settled on a visit from Saint Nick. Which is the one that starts off towards the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a feature, you know, that one. Um, uh, but I was like, eh. So then I moved on and found another little story. And when I read it, it was supposed to be, I, I, I'm assuming it was supposed to be like a feel good story because of the ending. But it didn't make me feel too good. <laughs> and that made me think about some of these Christmas stories either traumatized or depressed or, um, gave children too many high expectations about <laughs> what what their Christmas Eve night is supposed to be like. You know, with Santa coming down a chimney. What if you didn't have a chimney? You know, I didn't have a chimney growing up. I had a fireplace. Um, I'm sorry, not a fireplace. A fire escape, which is like this iron gate outside your window with ladders and stairs to go down. In case of a fire, you can escape through your window down the fire escape. Um, and we didn't always have like the big tree and we especially didn't have all the gifts that they always showed in these, um, stories, you know, hundreds of gifts under the tree. No, we didn't have that. We had one gift each growing up because we grew up kind of poor. Um, so we only had like one gift each. So some of those stories I started thinking like, they're not that much of a feel-good story. <laughs> you know what I mean? I came across one, uh, if I remember it correctly, it was called The Little Match Stick Girl. 
you know so i started reading it i had seen the the title before but i never really read the story and it's about this little girl who's very poor and she still sells matchsticks to help her family out um and she was sent out with like these extra big slippers on her feet because she didn't have any shoes and she lost the slippers crossing the street trying to scurry on you know scurry across the street but this car was coming so she had to run it so she lost one of her slippers and the other one got torn up or something like that so now she's barefoot walking the streets trying to sell these matchsticks because if she don't sell any and she doesn't bring home any money she gets beat okay her father was her parents were gonna beat her um so i was like damn <laughs> poor little girl she had no shoes it's cold outside no one was buying any of the matchsticks um so she leaned up against the wall and she was cold she was hungry and so she leans up against this wall and she decides to strike one of the matches i don't remember why what her reasons were but she did and in the glow of the fire from the matchstick she saw a warm stove cooking a Christmas dinner and all she could think of how warm that stove must be where she could extend her feet and warm them up and you know stuff like that but then the matchstick blew out and she was left with just the memory of this vision that she had when the fire was on the fire from the matchstick so she decides to strike another matchstick and this time she sees the Christmas dinner a goose all done up you know with all the fixings and etc etc then the matchstick blew out so she decides to do another one and she saw the image of the only person that ever loved her which was her grandma she wanted to go with her grandmother um and then that faded away so she lit up all the matchsticks that she had in her skirt knowing that she can't if she burns them she can't sell them and she's not going to go home with any money and she's going to get beat so she burnt up all the matchsticks with the hopes that she would see her grandma again um because even though she had no shoes and she had no um no food and she didn't sell any matchsticks she was going to get beat when she got home she was grateful for the the image of the images that she saw of her loving grandma that she missed so much that didn't make me feel good at all that made me sad okay I, it just made me sad so i decided not to recite any christmas stories because i kept coming across stories about hungry kids <laughs> i i just i just decided not to recite to y'all any um any Christmas story so because that 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 story right there just kind of turned me off um, it made me I really felt a little emotional after finishing it yeah that was sweet that she was grateful for the image of her grandma and you know she thought about how much her grandma loved her and how much she missed her but I didn't feel good after reading that so anyway I didn't say this in the beginning, but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, as I've stated, I've been working till 8 o'clock every night. Um, it's for OT, but it's also because we have a lot of work to do and not enough hands because this is a time where everybody goes on vacation. Um, so we are minus a couple of hands, and so the work is piling up a little bit. Um... It's only gonna. It was only gonna be for two weeks. So this week and next week, and then hopefully after that, I go back to my normal schedule, and I won't be as tired. And I'll have more time to do videos for you guys. Um, the last couple of videos that you saw were pre-recorded like over a week ago, and I just didn't have a chance to upload them. And I had to re-upload them because I have a new member. And I didn't have her on the list, and I wanted to welcome Olivia Franco as one of my new members, and see, and I wanted her to see her name on the list. So I took down what I had uploaded and redid it, 
Um, so those were the last two videos that you did see. Um, and speaking of membership, in case you don't know, I do have membership on my channel. You get a couple of extra perks. Um, I've been trying to be good with that. It's it's kind of hard to get creative and figure out what to do for members. But I think I'm trying and I hope you guys are satisfied with what I'm doing and hope to do a little bit more for you guys than I have been. Um, I said I was going to try to keep up with Facebook, but... I haven't been on there for a minute. Just don't have time. Um, I also have to catch up on my comments on, on YouTube videos. I do see them and I read them. But I'd like to, um, you know, respond to each one. So when I have a little time aside, set aside that I can do that, I will. Thank you for the comments and the views and the likes and all that. You guys are amazing. Really amazing. Um trying to think of anything that I wanted to tell you guys uh, last Saturday was my brother's 60th well his birthday was on July 3rd but we gave him well his wife and daughters gave him a surprise birthday party for his 60th and it turned out really nice and everybody had a really good time he was very surprised no one spilled the beans thank goodness he came to the house a couple of times and we were worried that my dad would spill the beans because you know he forgets he forgets stuff if you tell him don't say nothing he might forget and that's beyond my control <laughs> <laughs> but thank goodness he didn't say anything and my brother was pleasantly surprised we had a good time i got to see some family i hadn't seen in a while and it was just overall good i was beat man after that party i was tired for two days <laughs> i can't party like i used to and i didn't like dance all that much but i did do a lot of running around and and mingling and taking pictures and video and of course, I did one of my stupid moves where um, I had my brother and his wife dance to their wedding song because it was also recently their 32nd wedding anniversary. So, yeah, I did a little quick speech and I told them, you know, I told the DJ to play their wedding song, which he did. And they started dancing and I was recording them dancing. Then I had I was pulling people onto the dance floor, other couples to dance with them. And then I was recording each couple as they danced. And then when I looked, I hadn't pressed the record button. I was pissed because I couldn't make them do it over again. <laughs> they would have been mad at me, right? So I didn't get that part. But I got his entrance and how when he said hi to everybody. And it was really, really cool. Mm. Um, What else? There's not much going on because of the long hours I've been working. I don't have anything much to say. Um, but, okay. Christmas in July event is coming to an end. Um, so since you're seeing this on July 30th, it's coming to an end July 31st. Uh, if you want to be entered for my giveaway, which I'm giving a $50 Craftably gift card. And... Um, so is Mindy. I said I would choose a video for you guys to comment on. And it will be the last whip and chat that I did two weeks ago. And I'll link it down below. If you comment on that whip and chat, you'll be eligible to um, go for the giveaway. Okay? You'll be entered into the giveaway. We're going to number the comments. We're going to pick a number generator. And we're going to be live on her channel tomorrow saturday july 31st at 7 p.m eastern yes i am going live with mindy um i will be there i am going to show my face <laughs> as much as i hate it because i just i feel more relaxed when i'm actually diamond painting live okay i hate showing my face i feel like everybody is looking at me too much attention and i feel very uncomfortable and i'm not at my most relaxed state so i'm not giving it my all you know you'll see a little bit of a reserved me usually in these lives when i show my face when i don't show my face then you know 
my head gets let down and I'm I'm comfortable. I can joke, I can laugh, but hopefully I won't be a deadhead. <laughs> And we'll have a good time. We're going to announce the two um, giveaway winners. And then also we have a third giveaway winner. We're going to have a third giveaway um, from a diamond painting, a Chuck Pinson diamond painting that Melly from Melly, our Melly Machete donated for um, the event, which we thank you so much. And so that person is also going to get a couple of little extras from Mindy and I. Um, cause remember we have those cover minders by Siobhan and, um, yeah, we have, and a couple of ex little extra goodies that we'll give that, we'll send to that person. Um, so yeah, it's another fabulous event has come to an end. You guys, um, so many of you participated. There were a lot of beautiful Christmas paintings and holiday themed paintings, winter themed, um, that you guys did. Some of you guys did partials and special drills. Some of you went all out and did a chuck. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining us. These things are always so much fun. And I'm sorry that I did not participate as much as I would have liked. Just life gets in the way and we get busy and just, you know. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> it's like my brother's party wore me out for two days okay the following day on sunday um i was just so tired i slept for a long time i mean i got up at a normal time but then during the day i felt sleepy and i think i slept for like four hours i was worn out yeah i'm not as young as i used to be <laughs> but it was good to go out and listen to music and have drinks with my family and have some good food and I got to meet one of my niece's boyfriends for the first time it's a new new gentleman and new new young man in her life um very nice young man and so yeah it was it was a good time but that's over <laughs> I don't know when's the next party oh yeah I gotta go to my brother's house this weekend because my nieces are having a barbecue on Sunday which I'm going to attend they say chaperone but they're grown-ass people they don't need chaperones but I do like to hang out with their friends because they have a, a nice group of friends and they all treat me really well <laughs> I do curse out some of them, you know, just because I love them. <laughs> if I curse you, I love you. <laughs> um, so, you know what? Let me show you what I wanted to show you. You know, sometimes on these whipping chats, I do a little bit of show and tell. And I've ordered something from a new store on Etsy from someone that we all know and love. Let me put this away. Let me... Get this. Shut this off. Okay. So where is it? Where are my scissors? I'm gonna open it up. I have not looked at it. I've had it for a couple of days. And this is coming from our girl Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter, has opened up an Etsy shop. And it is called Old Snap Crafters Cafe. <laughs> oh, I got goodies. Oh, and I got some pretty washi tape. Let's see where we at. Okay, here we go. Okay, so how can I explain what these are? They're cover minders slash pendants. She wrapped it up real pretty. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, look at that. You know she loves her unicorns. If you ever watch her live, she has a card that is that has you know that lays unicorn farts. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> and the 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 participants in the live like unicorn farts. Everybody starts chanting unicorn farts, and so she plays the card. Okay. So yeah, this is like it's hard to explain. I'm not even sure how to explain it, but they're cover minders that you snap into a base. That serves as a pendant. Ooh, this is heavy duty. Oh, okay, okay. So my, I bought three of the um, cover minders to snap 
into the old snap thingy. <laughs> okay, so this is the old snap base, okay? And this is the cover minder. They are sold separately, okay? So I bought this one right here. You see that sugar skull? Isn't that pretty? She has different ones. And I'm not sure... Okay, so see, it like unsnaps. You gotta forgive my nails. They're really ratchet. You see, it's like a, a snap. So it's like, oh, snap. <laughs> so you can use this as a cover minder or you can use it as a pendant. And there's some on there that are scented and unscented and you can put essential oils into the... I don't think this is one of them. This is one of the unscented, but there's some that open up and have like a little spongy thing inside and you put essential oils and it smells good. So these are the other two snaps that I got. Can you see this? Nope. No, you cannot. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I got a skull thing going on. Aren't they pretty? And she gives you this pick so you can unsnap it and you don't break a nail <laughs> so these are cute i will link her store down below check her out give her some love okay there's another store that i need to check out i just haven't had the chance and it's by our girl Chantel. Chantel, i checked it out i just haven't been able to really pick something out because i do want to buy something and show it on my channel um, Chantel is one of my subscriber friends and some of yours probably, some of you probably know who she is. And, um, let's see, but she also has a shop, which I will be shopping from and then showing you, but, um, that's in a future video. So I got some washi tape from Jenny. Look how pretty that is. And she sent, oh, look at her card. Okay, scented minders and notions. That's what some of them are. Some of them come with like a little thing inside that you throw some essential oil and it'll be scented. This one's unscented. And this is her card. Okay, her Etsy information, Instagram, her YouTube. And it's called, oh, snap, Crafters Cafe. And so I got a little um, cute little rude, kind of rude. <laughs> sticker <laughs> I won't say what it says y'all read it <laughs> do you see what it says <laughs> and I got some Jolly Ranchers in this cute little organza bag thank you Jenny I needed something sweet well I do have something sweet which I don't have within reach so I can't show you because it came with the next thing that I'm going to show you. I got some happy mail, okay? And happy mail from my soul twin sister, Whitney, of course. <laughs> Doesn't listen to me and is always sending me stuff. Um, she sent me some nice gifts. And I want to show them to you. Um, Whitney is also donating some diamond art club paintings for a future giveaway which i thought was really nice of her she's still de-stashing if you don't know who whitney is i'll link her instagram down below she was de-stashing some diamond art clubs a couple of them are no longer available they're discontinued um i had shown them in a previous video um and she still got some so She's still de-stashing. She sent me three. They're on their way. So I uh, donations to the channel that I can use for a future giveaway. And, you know, I'm planning my 2,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to happen soon. Soon. One of these days. Okay. So the first thing that I pulled out of the box, and I wish I would have unboxed this on video, but I didn't. I kind of gave her a little audio unboxing because when I saw this, I kind of squealed. Okay. Look at my new mug. Is that not hot? I love my mug. It's very heavy. It has like an iridescent sheen on the face. And my boyfriend's really jealous. <laughs> he 
Brandy ain't getting this. Now, she was using, she had one for herself. And she's using it to put her diamond paintings in. Like, I was already trying to throw some beer in here. But, <laughs> but I think this is an excellent idea. Because they look, oops, sorry, I moved it. They look really nice in here. Okay, so when I set up my desk, I think that's what I'm going to use my mug for. So he could stare at me while I diamond paint. And there I go moving the damn camera again. I'm sorry, Miente. So that's my mug. And then she also sent me candy. What's this? Oh, what's this? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, here they go. Oh my God. Okay. So there's this, I believe it's an Etsy shop called Lola Rose Diamonds. And she decorates these little plastic containers with all different shaped drills and diamonds and pearls and just gorgeousness, okay? Look at that. And these can be used for whatever you want. They can be used for trash. Okay. They can be used for trash. Oh my God. My nails are ridiculously ugly. Ew. Okay. <laughs> but look how pretty. Wait. I'm trying to. She glues all the little um, rhinestones on, on there. Okay, look how pretty that is. I don't think I want to use this for wax. So you can use it for wax. You can use it to catch, you know, for trash. I'm not sure. I was thinking of putting my, my seven placers in this one. Look how pretty that is. Can we see? I just love it. Then you get... And she has different styles. Just beautiful. So, I will try to find the link to link it down below. But it is called Lola Rose Diamonds. I've never heard of her. Wendy came across her. Um, ordered a couple for herself and then ordered some for me. And they came in this really pretty bag. With some wax and an extra multi-placer. I think this one was like a four-placer. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. And another thing that I'm really in love with right now. Oops. Is this. I'm loving these micro dots. I was diamond painting with. I have it in the tip of this pen. Um, and. I did so much with just. I put two dots in the tip at a time. And it lasts so long. I mean, I mean a really, really long time. I ended up changing them and putting a fresh, fresh dots in there just because I didn't really need to because it was still sticky. But I really love this. So my new fave combination is blue, the micro dots in the in the single tip, and then I put um. Not your mama's mud on my multi placer, and that is another thing that lasts forever. Um, bueno, mi gente, I don't think I have any more to say, but join us tomorrow, Saturday, July 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern on Mindy's channel for a live. Come have some fun, see if you're going to win our, one of our prizes. Don't forget, comment on the video that I will link down below. This video is on, is being put up the day before. I don't feel I have enough time or there's enough time for everybody to see it and comment. So I'm going to make it the last whip and chat that I did two weeks ago, which I will link down below. Comment on that on that on that <laughs> video, and you will be entered into my, our giveaway okay so mindy's gonna announce one i'm gonna announce the second one and then we're gonna announce a third one. Oh, we didn't discuss how we're gonna pick the third one but yeah there's gonna be three prizes all together mi gente thank you for joining me sorry for the lack of videos lately um i'm gonna continue working on this because right now i'm really undecided on what i want to work on next i think i'm going to pull out my um 
pixel printed and non-pixel printed project and continue with that and finish it hopefully work on that during the month of august and maybe another whip because you know what's coming soon the chuck along this one's chuck along four is coming september 1st get your chucks ready there are a couple available um for pre-order and in stock on the diamond art club website um but yeah mi gente looking forward to that i'm not sure I think I'm going to continue working on one of the two chucks that I had started and not start a new one. I cannot start a third chuck. I have to finish one of these two that I that I started um, because it would be a shame not to finish them because they are really beautiful. It's just that, you know, chuck is hard as fuck and they burn me out. <laughs> Anyway, mi gente, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. You know what to do until my next video. Take care of yourselves and besos. Mm -hmm.